Hello, it's your Mufash. Told me, Molore, thank you for joining. Thank you very much. It's been a long time. How are you doing? Um, welcome, Maya Funke. Yeah, she's coming in. Yeah, that's it. Yay, my sister is here to do this with me today. Thank you for accepting this. Is. Thank you, Mr. Fashu or Michelle. Thank you for coming on. Thank you very much. Well, I have my sister here, Hayo Funke 07. Thank you for coming on. Um, I will wait for her to show her face. <laughs> Tommy Valore, thank you. Tommy, I would like to have you on this chat session one of these days to talk about something important. I will message you later. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Um, oh, I'm on. <laughs> thank you for joining us. Hello. <laughs> um, I am. Okay. It's my first live video, so I'm trying to look good for the camera. One second. Yeah, you're not doing bad. <laughs> oh, my God. And I'm hot. Let me turn the fan on. I'll be right back. All right. Uh, that's so close. Thank you for joining us. Um, it's going to be a wonderful time today. Um, this is what we do on this um, chat. We come together and talk about things. So, um, Ayofun Keo 7 and I, we are not teachers. We are not to lecture you. We are just here, here to coordinate it. So we follow the um, comment, comment sessions. So the topic we're going to be talking about today is um, parenting, technology, and the, and the 21st century. So we'll be glad if you can just comment on and off so that we can carry on from there. So um, just send your comments, then we can base our discussions on the comments, the questions, the whatever you want us to know. So we are not the teachers. We are just here to coordinate. So we'll be glad if right. um, you can join us in teaching us. I don't know if that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Contributing. So, so long. Thank you for joining. Tolu Todd, thank you for joining us. So glad to have everyone here. We are just going to wait about a few more minutes before we start to see if we can have more people to join so that we, can, we don't just start talking alone. <laughs> <laughs> um, so how are you kids? how is your side oh we're we're we thank god we're managing <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank i god mean a lot of face. places my state is opened up now i mean they've been opened you know many places oh, are open but a lot of us oh. still you know stay home and and i know yeah. <laughs> so how's the i know end? what it's like well we are enjoying <laughs> at least <Thank> god. <laughs> It's, I think it's getting better, yeah. and hopefully it will stay better. And with books, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Um, thank you. We're going to be talking about parenting, technology, and the 21st century. So we are going to make this as uh, interactive and interesting as possible. I promise it will not be boring. <laughs> and um, my sister is here, Yofunke. We are going to do this together. So we will start the conversation. Then we would like to have you comment with your ideas, what you've done, mm -hmm. and what you've seen people do, what has worked. We are actually here to learn. So everybody is a teacher in this chat room. No one is the grand teacher except God. <laughs> right. Right. Mm -hmm. Shall we start now? Um, can I say a word of prayer for people who have lost someone in the past few months? Is that all right by everybody? Just join me in prayer. Father, we thank you for this moment in our lives. We thank you for we believe that all things work together for our good, for we walk in your purpose. We thank you because um, you have kept it. We are grateful for keeping us. Lord, we pray for everyone that's lost, lost someone in the past few months in 2020, that Lord, you shall comfort them. We pray for grace for them to carry on. We pray for grace for them to move on in life. We Amen. pray that, Lord, you continue to comfort us all on all sides. And, Lord, we pray that, Lord, there shall be no more death. We Amen. pray that everything will be wonderful. It shall be good news all around us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, Amen. Thank you for joining me in prayer. Thank you for everyone that has joined while I was praying. I have to close my eyes to concentrate. Sorry. <laughs> Right, right. Um, this is where we go from here. We are going to be talking about um, 
parenting technology and um, the 21st century i'll kick off i'll just say a little bit that i often care will say something then from there we can have comments coming on what you think it is and the challenging the challenges we're having in this time because it's been quite challenging for most of the parents um let me start with the um Parenting to me doesn't really have a, a definition. Parenting is parenting. You are a parent, you are parenting. So whichever, you can be doing it negatively or positively or just be neutral. <laughs> There's no neutral anyway. It's either you are doing it right or you are doing it wrong when it comes to parenting. But there are, there are actually challenges in recent times because um, we, we are even, our generation is a bit luckier than our parents because we are more exposed to all these technological things than then they were not. Mm -hmm. Let's say the people that were so, so rich had a bit of it, but it's, it has advanced like over the years. So it's not the same kind of technology we had 40 years ago in use today. So there are so many challenges now, before now, before Corona, <laughs> sorry, parents don't really allow their children to stay on the laptop, stay on the tablet and also they try. But now during Corona and post Corona, children are going to stay more on the tabs, on the laptops, on the phones. Mm. They are going to be eating microwave meal because you'll be tired of making food every time. A lot of things are going to be happening over the years and technology is still going to that level we see in all those sci-fi movies. We are still going yeah. to see loads of things happening. It might not be in our time. It might be in our time. Mm -hmm. It might be next year. Things might just start erupting like it's supposed to be called because the Bible even said that knowledge will fill the land. So things are going to start happening over the years. It's been happening anyway. But I just think it's just rapid these days. Um, I I'll let Ayo Funke just um, give us a brief as we go on about this. Over to you, Seth. Okay, so where do you want me to start from? Anything yeah, that just, brief us, just brief us about parenting <laughs> and um, the technology itself. Just a brief one. And I, I will expect comments in, in the comment section to tell us what you think has been the challenges of the parents of the 21st century in adapting to um, the life of um, technology. I, I don't know how to say this. Mm -hmm. But I think yeah. everyone is getting what I'm saying here. So I'll let Ayafunke say this so that the comments can flow in as we go on. Go on. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, my name is Funke. So um, for me, like my sister's bank has said, parenting is parenting. I don't think there's any, well, there are guidelines that, you know, we can follow. But one thing I believe is every family is different. As a matter of fact, yeah. every child is different. Like you can have 10 children grow up in one house. Yeah. And you'll be amazed that each one of them, you know, will turn out to be something different. And it's kind of beautiful yeah. because we can't all be the same in life. God Never. has created us so that everybody's unique. Everyone uh -huh. is unique. So even when it comes to parenting, I feel like you have to know your child. Mm -hmm. You have to know... And I say child, I didn't, notice I didn't say children. You have to know your child because you yeah. might have 10 children, but trust uh -huh. me, every one of them is different. Every one of them is different. So you have to, or oh, someone is saying for you to pin the topic. Yeah, that's what okay. I'm doing now. All right. So, I mean, you have to find what works for you. Um, yeah. Like, there was a time I learned something from um, one of the pastors in my church who is a psychologist, is a you know, doctor of psychology, and he talked about the four different types of parenting. I think I mentioned it one time before. The four you yeah. know, different types, types of parenting. For me growing yeah. up, our mm -hmm. own, like our parents, our generation, I think they only use one mm. of it. I wrote some yeah. things down. So we, so we have four different types of parents. We have the authoritative, we have the authoritarian, yeah. We have the permissive yeah. and we have the uninvolving or neglectful or whatever. And I think right. in my own opinion, I don't know if you all, if you all mm -hmm. agree, our parents were the authoritative one, which is, it is my way or no way. Like, yeah. most yeah. of growing up, we, we didn't really have a voice. Again, yeah. you, know, you, can come, you can correct me in the, in the comments, you know, 
section if you um, feel that I'm wrong. But you know, Africans like well, if we didn't mom, really have a voice. But don't don't let us generalize. Some parents were really. Yes. I have friends that their parents give them time to like talk and. Talk. Oh, it happened yeah. to rock while I was growing up, maybe when I was about, let me say, 12, 13, 14, mm -hmm. when my mom saw that I was drifting away. That was when yeah. she started talking. She, she doesn't talk to Ross. That was when she started talking to Ross. You'll come to mm -hmm. your room and you feel so strange. Like, what's she yeah. doing here? What does what she want? Mm -hmm. Because you didn't have that relationship from the beginning. But she yeah. tried to build it over the years. It wasn't like it's it's not like if it was from the beginning, but from the beginning, you're right. To me anyway. Yes, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. You know, so but I, again, I, I, just, I don't um sorry to cut you short. No I, I just don't want us to always look at our parents like that was the best way they knew. Oh yeah, that no, was no, the it wasn't, oh of course. It wasn't like oh yeah. it wasn't like they did something bad. That was what they knew. Mm -hmm. You understand? That's yeah. what they knew, yeah. and that is what and thank God for knowledge know. now. But yes, yes. So mm. I mean, in life, in everything, there has to be a balance. Yeah. There has to be a balance. So even this parenting style that I'm talking about, you can be, uh -huh. you know, authoritative, authoritarian, permissive. You have to yeah. be all of everything. Yeah, you have yeah, to be all of everything. Yeah. The only one I would say yeah. don't be, you, you cannot don't take one out. Yes, you can be the neglectful yeah. or the uninvolving, but out of those uh -huh. first three, you have to be. So yes, you have yeah. to be, you know, authoritative. Like, okay, this is what I because yeah. as a parent, we all want the best for our child. Growing up, our parents yeah. wanted the best for us, and again, yeah. that's the way they knew how to do it. Yeah. You know, yeah. they wanted to. So yeah. you have to be, and then the authoritarian is. Okay, yes, this is what you want your mm -hmm. child to do, but you listen to them and see their own points of view. Like, yeah. okay, what I, do you... I would like to, um, sorry for cutting you short, I, I would mm -hmm. like to throw you to the comment session. So, what, what um, do you think um, are those advantages we got by having technology, and what are the disadvantages? What do you think? is coming right by having all these our gadgets and what do you think is um, going so wrong by so i would expect us in the comment section to just um, give us um your answers what do you think is let, let me use a scenario do you think it's better now that children have access to tablet internet netflix all sorts than when we used to watch the video cassettes <laughs> <laughs> And when TV goes you up at 5 p.m. or whatever, 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Do you think it has helped in some areas and it has been a disadvantage? So I would expect us in the comment session to come up with... Um, our ideas, what do you, do you think is better? I, I know it's a way a bit better, but what do you think about it? Have you been able to manage it? Like, I've been having issues coping with my boys staying on the computer all day. Sometimes I yes. get them off it and they do other things. We play, sometimes I'll tell them to switch <laughs> off all gadgets and we just play together, jump on each other. But at mm -hmm. the end of the day, I get tired before then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I get tired it, before it, them. It's and I hard, don't want it's them hard, to but again, yeah. like, every day you learn. As a matter yeah. of fact, yesterday I learned mm -hmm. I was on a on a call, um, on a Zoom call. My um high school had a they invited a man, you know, to come talk to us. Oh my god, it was awesome. And of course, he touched on something about parenting. And he said uh -huh. that I, I don't know, I think he has like four or five kids. Do you want to read the comments yeah. or do you you want to read the comments? Uh, yes, I just okay. want us to see the comments and see what's okay. going on. Um, and with book said, it has helped, but at the same time, the parents should be in control of how much the child uses. I, I think that is very, very correct. We really mm -hmm. have to um, watch how we allow them stay on. Like yeah. everything mine watch on wherever they are watching is linked to my Google account. So mm -hmm. I'm like monitoring whatever they are watching, which is an advantage to me. Yep. Do you understand what, what, what I'm saying? I, I think it's the, the most perfect thing. If God didn't want them to be monitored by us, they, you will rain them from heaven. They won't come yep. through us. The reason why they come through us is for them to be guided. So that what it's we not expected. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, um, Tommy Mollore just said there's a whole lot out there. In fact, way too much that can prevent the mind, pervert the mind of children. 
parents have to be cautious about how much time their sp kids spend online. I, I, I would like to talk about this too. How, how much time is very important? Number one, mm -hmm. for the eye. Yeah. Then sometimes the brain needs to... Re have you watched TV so much that you start having a day? <laughs> sometimes you watch no. more TV and you start having a day. A day, yeah. When, when you just don't take your eyes off it, you are glued to it. You start having mm -hmm. a headache. So I think that is because apart from the medical side of it or mental side of it, there's still so many things involved when they get these things into their head. But I would like to say that in as much as we are looking at the fact that it's affecting them negatively, it also helps them positively. Oh, yes. I know yes. a child that learns Spanish by watching cartoons. So mm -hmm. it's there's there's advantage to it, and there's this as long as they're watching they are watching productive thing at the right yes. time. Yeah. I think it's all right. Which is what I was gonna say about the meeting that I said I was mm. on yesterday. So the man said all of his kids they know how to do power. Yeah. Like all of them, he's like, okay, you can watch Netflix on TV. That same TV, he makes them do a PowerPoint, mm -hmm. and he said with yeah. every PowerPoint they have to end it with a video, and they're gonna show it to him on the not. On the um, TV screen, that same TV screen you watch Netflix on, that's the same yeah. one. I was so impressed. I mean, I was the other day, and even with this school thing that closed yeah. and our kids, I learned so much. You know, seeing my daughter, uh -huh. the other day she did, I mean, out of this few months, she did like two or three PowerPoints. I was like, you did that yourself? She said, yes, mommy, I know how to do PowerPoints. I was like, wow. wow. Really? I mean, it was so... <laughs> I mean, I was so I impressed. Really I was like, wow, I, I didn't know you could do this much on PowerPoint, you know? I mean, I'm, I'm, and like, I'm hey, sure she wasn't able to do them before, you know, yes. but because of this kind of time, she, like, yes. brought so she was, out so the, man, it. It the man was like, you know, that he gets his kids to do at least one or two a week, like, different things <laughs> learning. So immediately yeah. I got off the phone. My daughter called me because she's in Chicago with my sister now. She called my husband and I on a three-way call. And I was like, Momo, I've got homework for you. She's like, oh, mommy. I'm like, yeah, you have to do a PowerPoint. She was like, really? I was like, yes. Can you do a PowerPoint on how education started in Nigeria? She was like, really? I was like, yeah, because again, apart from the fact that you're doing a PowerPoint, you're learning history about things. Yeah. So, you know, there's a yeah. lot of advantage to technology if we use it right. Yeah. There's a lot yeah. of things that we can learn, and it's just amazing. Mm -hmm. This man was saying, like, like, like I, I heard of a story of um, a children group. Let's say the children mm -hmm. group they were doing Zoom class. So yes. I, I don't know how they did not um, password the Zoom, and somebody came on naked on the Zoom can class, an adult. Wow. And was new. Wow. And the kids were like, and the teacher was confused. So oh. like like we are all saying, there's always like, mm -hmm. so that is why we parents, we got to up our game. Yes. We can't just say, I've not got time for this. I, yes. I, I cannot do it. Like I remember my grandma used to call us, come and turn over the television because she cannot handle the remote. But if grandpa mm -hmm. was there, would have gotten the remote, changed station and continue with whatever. But she yeah. was like, oh. These children, come and change this thing for me mm -hmm. like, because she can move. We, we are not supposed yeah. to be that kind of parent. We have to oh, like, move as we yes. are moving. Oh, yes. Move we have it. to move with the same thing. Oh, yes. Because we need or to be else we, don't, okay. we don't discover that we don't even know anything about them anymore. Right, right. Can I read like, some of the comments? Um, um, do we have another comment? Yeah, we've yeah, got I one comment from them. Sonia Nolua, my daughter now speaks some French, which is very perfect. Awesome. French languages to me. Sometimes she tells me hello in Spanish, thanks to TV and H5, she's explaining the whole nervous system and oh, how the wow. brain works. All things TV. Wow. It, like, like we were saying, yes. there's so much disadvantage mm -hmm. to it. There's so many right. things I did not learn when I was their age mm -hmm. that they've learned now that I wish I had known. You know, and, and we, we were a bit exposed to television, let's say television. We, the highest we had was a desktop computer, which was daddy's, and uh, nobody can actually go to it except maybe he's walking on here. You stand behind, behind him and look at what he's doing. And look at what but he's doing, right? It, it amazes me what they come up with, the knowledge they gather. That's why we and should learn watch it themselves. What it's, it's, they learn it themselves. I'm telling you. It's... Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, look, Kunkeko Kuala said every parent should have access to what a child or children do on the internet. Also, there should be time True. for it. 
I, I agree with yes. you. I agree with you. So, me, Molore, just say, of course, there are quite a number of positive sides to kids having access. Yeah, yeah. I think she, she's responding to what we said earlier. Mm -hmm. My son's speech is better now, too. It was an issue before, and it communicates better. I think it gives them more kind of confidence that we never had. Yeah. And yes. They just come up with things, and you'll be like, what is that? There are so many things I've learned from my kids. They'll come back and say, um, do you know this is this status? I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll just have to go to the, to on the internet to check myself. Like, yes. is that oh, yes. correct? Oh, yes. I'll, then I'll be like, how, how did they even know this? How did they know this? I was yeah. asking you, he said, he said I, I saw it in one of the movies I was watching. I'm like, mm -hmm. really? Mm -hmm. You know? So it just, we just have to make sure that everything that is going into their head is positive yes. as it's much positive. as we yes. can. Because I, I was sharing this on my WhatsApp status today. Um, technology is going to that level when books will be forgotten, like scrolls. Oh. Where one generation, we have to tell the other generation, we used to read books. We used to, we read, used to write yes. in paper. Because it's going to fade away. There's not going to be books anymore. So we are because so many books are on 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 um, e the iPad now and stuff. Yeah, e-books. Yes. So you read novels online now. You don't have to look for novel anywhere. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Omoya Nidaudu, for joining. And um, Sonia Aloluako just said, but control is key. Sometimes I seize the iPad for weeks and tell them, <laughs> iPad is gone. To, why Nigeria? <laughs> don't make them think Nigeria is a place that takes them something away now. <laughs> oh my God. I think I think it's very the control is very important, really. Then one thing that we should make sure we are doing is that when 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 they're having other activities, when they are eating, they are not watching things. Yes. yes. When they are about to sleep, I'm not a fan of kids having telly in their room. Mm. I'm not a fan of it because I, I, personally, I just don't like it. When it's time to sleep, it's time to sleep. It's Want to go to, the room and sleep, to your own room and sleep you're not going to be there with them and sometimes kids are very very mischievous you give them instruction they do the opposite opposite they are not, you, so you can't stay with them and say don't switch on that telly they will definitely try it one day and when they see that they've worked three hours mom is not waking up the next night they're like let mommy sleep small we'll continue later you know so it's, <laughs> it's very important we control whatever they are watching really and pay attention to it because it's, it's a lot of work, like you said. Parenting is not easy because you've got things you want to do for yourself. You've got dreams. You've got a life. You want to do things, but you're still looking after them. You want to make sure they have a life. Yeah. And, I think, and I think um, that ties into our parenting style as well. How? Because believe it or not, mm. we should be, when we're talking about technology, we should have the kind of relationship with our children that they can tell us things they see what they yeah. should do you understand me like yeah. we they yeah. should be close enough to be able to tell us yeah. things that they're yeah. reading online things that they're watching things that they're seeing you understand so at the same time even though we're talking about okay yes we're cutting the screen time but we should have that kind of relationship with them that you know mm -hmm. when they tell us things then we should be able to say oh how do you see that where if it's something that you know they shouldn't have seen you know where did you see that yeah. how did you see it and yeah. things like but if they're not telling you anything if you don't have that relationship with them they will keep absorbing everything and you don't know mm -hmm. yes you can check yeah. their phone you can you know do everything but believe it or not sometimes these kids are ahead of us who knows they might even know how to delete things already but again like i said the relationship you have yeah. with them would help as well because that way they yeah. will tell you, you know, this this and that we cannot know it all i believe that every day we're learning I don't think yeah, there's any perfect parents. Oh, yes. We have to keep learning. There's no perfect parents. You can't be complacent that as a parent. You cannot afford to be complacent because yes. these kids are moving with the speed of light. Like, they are moving. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I tell them to teach me things. Like, how did you mm -hmm. do that? I'm, I, I'm yeah. very familiar with the computer. I explore a lot on the computer. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they do things. I'm like, yeah. where did you learn that from? From. And they be like, I just tried it. I said, you could have crushed the computer. You could have done this. He said, I just tried it and it worked. And since then, he's been trying it. You wow. know, so they explore a lot and do things, but you wonder how they get to that level. And one thing I want to emphasize on is when we are controlling, 
don't make them feel as if you don't trust their judgment. It is very important too. Because sometimes when we try to control, they be like, don't you trust me? Mm. Sometimes it's good for you to let them make some mistakes and let them know that they've made mistakes. Yes. And you understand what I'm saying? Let yes. them find themselves sometimes. Let's, let's control what they watch. But what, 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 sometimes when they watch something they're not supposed to watch, don't, like somebody said last week, um, she said something, she said, re respond, don't react. Mm. Which is very important. If very your reaction will show if they want you to watch the next, next time. Like, yes. like um, from days back, my kids were watching something on the laptop. I don't know what they were watching, but I knew they were on Netflix. And I just walked past. I'm like, what are you watching? He told me the title of the something, like five days in a row. He kept telling me whenever I asked, so what are you watching? It's one of their children's series. Then I asked again, what are you watching? Then he told me, I said, is it a good one? And he said, mommy, don't you trust me? Will I watch something bad? And I'm like, I trust you. I just walked away. But I went to my phone and checked the review of the something. Because mm -hmm. I was like, you know, but just just to let them develop their own sense of reasoning too. So that yes. you're not the one doing the thinking for them every time. It's um, coming. Yeah, mommy is the one taking the decision on the movies to watch. Let them take decision on what to do. So when they get to a certain level, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Because you're not always going to be there. You are not always uh -huh. going to be there. I, there was a yeah. time my... Um, my my daughter's friends came over i don't know what i think some one of them was doing something maybe pulling a chair or something you know it wasn't anything and she was like no uh -huh. you know you can't do that and all and i was just again walking by and i was like okay good because a lot of times when she does things i tell her so if you are doing this if your friends come over what will you tell them i'm what always on her like that so i was so yeah. proud i had a proud mommy moment you just and walk I, I just walk yeah, past i didn't say anything <laughs> i didn't say anything when they left i was like oh momo I'm so, you know, I'm so happy you were able to tell, you know, your friend that yeah. she wasn't allowed to do that, you know, and all of that. Yeah, because yeah. I, I'm telling you, every time she does something, I'm always like, when you are doing this and other people come, what will you say to them if you are, you know? So sometimes we, we are not always going to be there 24-7. We don't go to school. Yeah. With them, you know, yeah. so we have to get to a point whereby we trust them enough to have a reasonable judgment on things that they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Mm. It, it is very important. Like um, we, we've talked about, but I want us to talk about um, changes that can happen over the years with these things. Like I said, books is going, books are going to go into extinction, either we like it or not. Mm. Very. We used to have a encyclopedia in. I don't know if your granddad had yes. shelves of books <laughs> of books. <laughs> so when you want to check things, I've gone there severally to look for things in the encyclopedia. Well, now we've got Wikipedia, you've got everything online. Oh, yeah. Knowledge is so full of it's so full, and everywhere you just say things you need to know. Oh, Wikipedia, my yeah. daughter will tell you Wikipedia is not a good site, <laughs> anybody can put any. <laughs> These kids know, I'm telling you, the other day they know the like, better oh, one. Oh, yeah, she was doing a research. Oh, because she does their school, she does, she was doing a research about I think radio or something, how the radio started, and she was like, uh -huh. So I was helping her, and she was like, ah, Mommy, I can't get this information from Wikipedia because Wikipedia is not a reliable source. I was like, okay. Mm. <laughs> She's like, Somebody Wikipedia. is talking about um, social media and parenting. I, I don't know if oh. this is a question, but let's divert there a bit now. Mm. Um, I've, I've got this, um, it's an Instagram page for my kids and we have a purpose while we're running it and we are working through, um, towards our purpose. But I know parents that will not do that. I know parents that would not even want their kids to be on social media at all, which is a choice anyone can make really. Mm -hmm. But to me, I just believe that that is, everything is going to come off off the telly and it's going on yeah. social media. So all, all the TV stations, they are going to start broadca broadcasting. Give me a minute. I have to media. sign for something. Give me a minute. Right, it's okay. So we, we just have to... um know what we are doing with them. Personally, I wouldn't let my kids have a social media handle they can handle themselves until a certain age when they decide if they want it or not. But some parents will let them have it. At, at No kids will have their own Instagram handle at seven and they post things on it, kids. So, so it depends on the parents and it depends on them um, 
how I, I don't know how to say this how how exposed the child is to these things i've got i know kids that have got facebook facebook accounts i know kids that have got but but some things are really really more important than the others even if they have an account what is the purpose of our account you as a parent that you have an account what do you have it for why are you running your instagram why are you running your facebook account why are you running all sorts of accounts you know it, it's 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 not up to choice because i believe everything thank you i think the solutions just said something they said best to let them know what's good and what's not thank you very much because really no one is following you anywhere we all went to the uni our parents were not there and everybody did what they needed to do and we we had words that were guiding us we had friends that were guiding us we had prep, peer pressures that were guiding us but we are here so <laughs> just what memory back so um we just have to let kids know what's good and what's not that is our duty really because uh, like i said if god wants them to um if God wants them to take their own decision from babies, it will rain them from heaven. It will bring them through us. So the reason why they've come through us is for us to guide them in the way they should go, which is very important. Even the Bible says, train your child in the way they should go. And when they are gone, they will not depart from it. So, so about that. Even though we had chances of, we had chances of just going a wire, going, I don't know how to explain this, but it was those little words that our parents said to us that helped us while we were growing up and sometimes your parents are not there and you want to take some decisions and you're like am i even supposed to do this am i even supposed to do this just like i told someone those words don't waste so it's better we say them than not say them it's better to tell the kids what's right than not to say it at all just say it you are sowing a seed one day it will come to a point when they will need that word and they will remember that my mom once said this or maybe after they've made a mistake they say and mom said this so you know it's better to say, like um he said you can start them on social media but what happens during school session and that is very true what what happened during school session what happens you are not there in school your friends have phone my son is just eight and he's like mommy can i have a phone i'm like what for what what are you going to be calling so i brought out one of my old phones which i brought when i was coming from nigeria very old so he said, oh, this is my phone. He kept handling that it, it's his phone. I didn't want to give him at first, but this one works for me. If, if I wanted to punish him and I was going to take the phone off him, he would do what I asked him to do. <laughs> so I was like, I'm going to leave this phone for you as your phone. Since you are taking responsibility for everything now. But I, I, I know parents buy phones for their kids at any age. But I think it's up to the parents, really. Yes. Because now the internet is like you're opening to anything. They, they teach them um, safety, internet safety and all sorts in school. So they know also, but we still have to tell them. Um, Tommy Molore just said, okay, you know, I used to teach age 9 to 12 kids in church. One day, some of them shared with me how they have been exposed to porn. Hmm. It really bothered me. I know. I, I, I really know. I know kids are exposed to porn and parents will never know. Never. Yeah. They will not even say to you. They will not. Parents need to be intentional about teaching their kids rights for giving them the right foundation first before inter internet gives them. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is we, so true. Very important because the internet will definitely teach them things. Mm, mm, mm. It will definitely teach them things. We That's why we have to be ahead internet. of the game, like we've been saying. We have to be ahead of yeah, the internet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, sometimes I just, I just look for teenagers and I just talk to them. Not because I'm just a talkative, but because I want to get information from them. From them, yes. I, I just don't go judging them or anything. I'm like, so what's on TikTok? I said, I, I don't think I can ever have a, a TikTok account. Say, yeah, it's fine, auntie. You can try it. Now I'm like, really? So what do you do on it? So I just sing, dance, do this. just have fun. I'm like, so what else? Mm -hmm. So what else? That's why I get my information. So what do you do again? Apart from that, what else? What does your friend do? You know, just get information of them because you cannot even get a review on it, on Google. Google will not give you a full review of whatever you have to anyway. come down to their level to be able to get yeah. information. You have yeah, to be yeah. 
you have yeah. to you have to yeah sometimes when the kids come from um school they'll be singing songs i'll be like oh, you, because i listen to the songs on radio when i'm driving my car radio is on and i s- listen to this song i'm like how oh, did you know that song i don't even play it in the house so they know. you don't even listen to radio in the house <laughs> They so, know. As you know they said, in school yeah so at their lunch time they play their music so it's any kind of music do you get, it's not any kind so because most of the songs are not like bad the kids but yes mm-hmm. you know the kids bop and all sorts they are mm-hmm. they are not part of their songs but yeah. i'm just like how did you how know these songs know? how did you know I- And, but in school, they learn so much in school. And like, okay, now, do you want to follow them to school? You want them to be singing just Christian <laughs> songs? Okay, go on. Do you follow them to school? Can't, you can't be with them 24-7. So you just have to instill, you know, the fear. And so like when they watch, they watch cartoons on this um, animated whatever series, they have different songs that come up as background. They know them. Yes. And like, how oh, do they know these songs? Do you know what? Sometimes when they are singing, we'll be like, those words are not right. I'm not supposed to be singing them. I just keep mm-hmm. quiet and do, do as if I, I'm not seeing anything. Here. But I know that they know that, oh, those words are stupid. He said, why should I tell someone to kiss me in a song? I'm not supposed to say that. You know? Mm-hmm. I'm like, right, you know. Because it's just sit. Do you understand what I'm saying? So there are mm-hmm. so many things they learn when we are not there. We cannot even follow them. And it's better for us not to shut them up because the moment you start telling them to shut up, sometimes they say things that shocks me. I'm like, I'll just use my shock absorber. I just carry it into my body and just look and shake my body. I, I'll calm down maybe after four days or some days. I look for a time to just chip it in small, chip it in like, this is not correct. This is not right. Really? And when they say really, you see that children are so innocent. And they don't even know what is right and what is mm-hmm. wrong until we tell them. Well, I, I agree with you to some extent, but trust me, kids of nowadays, they know. <laughs> you, you be shocked. <laughs> they know what is right. They know what is wrong. I'm telling you. They do and right. they just, you know, hmm, I don't know. I, I, they, I they understand know what, what we think. Yeah, they know more, yeah. more than what we think they know. Yes. Because yeah, this yeah. Let, let, let me divert let me divert to um mm-hmm. some electrical equipment and let's leave them um, computer and tablet now let's mm-hmm. talk about microwave washing machine dishwasher like mm-hmm. our parents used to wash with their hands i wash with my hands yes. do you understand what i'm saying mm-hmm. but you have the micro you have the washing machine you have the dishwasher some parents mm-hmm. still argue that kids have, have to know how to use the alternative means in yeah. case that one breaks down or it's not available so i i think I, i want us to come up in in the comment section what is your view about this do you think um you should just then um, go on with the technology when it gets spoiled you order another one or you just want them to try other means try and wash dishes with their hands try and um sweep the floor with broom i am i, I am one of them <laughs> I need to Where sound, did you I get a broom from? Of me, vacuum cleaner. So most of the time when everybody is just, I just sweep my thing in two minutes, I'm done and over it. But some, some parents still want their kids to learn how to use the broom to sweep the floor. Mm-hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? And yes. some parents don't really care, whatever. Um, what have you tried? What has worked for you? my kids are still quite small so i I would like parents that have older kids to tell us uh, what has worked for you what have you tried with them do they prefer one to the other yeah for someone like me i'm still in some things i'm still kind of old school like washing plates i (laughs) can't once in a while i would say (laughs) oh let me use my dishwasher and my mom is standing there Uh looking at me i'm Ugh, and I've got OCD. Oh, my bestie's on here. She can <laughs> I'm just going to use this dishwasher, but I've already washed half of the, like, rinsed up. Did it. And my mom is like, okay, why are you? You already don't wash in the plate. Why are you? I'm like, I'm, you know, yeah, I'm like, mommy, you know, if you don't use this dishwasher, someone has told me it will break. So I'm still kind of in uh-huh. that, you know, aspect. I'm still old school when it comes to washing plates. Yeah, so nah, nah. I still prefer to, because I'm know. like, it's faster. By the time I'm loading the, the dishwasher, I'm already done. But once in a while, yeah. you know, I still try to yeah. But you, That being said, at the end of the day, trust me, it's not like these kids are going to go back and live in Nigeria and be washing their 
their clothes with their hands or yeah. something. No. Yeah. yeah. So I think yeah. we should just, again, let's just flow with the time. We're in the 21st century, for God's sake. We are not yeah. in 1928. Let's just, you know, I like think, that's I think the we don't have to, we have to move. Yeah. You know that we somebody was telling me he went, he went to um, Las Vegas one time and he ordered an Uber. And he said it was a driverless Uber that came. Can you imagine Never. that? Yes. Never. It was like, he wasn't sure if he like should it. go inside. Yes. <laughs> I was like, what? So, you know, times have moved so fast and yeah. we can't just be behind yeah. and keep. So what? Yes, they can use the, the, the dishwasher. They can use the washing machine. Let them sort out their clothes. Like the light yeah. and whatever. Let them load the machine. Like now my daughter can do her own laundry. Even though she doesn't want to do it half of the time. <laughs> But again, we get solution nothing with our <laughs> nails and makeup. Put the wash plates. Hi, <laughs> hey, it's true now. So I'm telling I you, she, so she knows how to load the machine. She knows how to use it. She can wash her clothes yeah, and dry yeah. it. Again, most of the time she doesn't want to do it. But when I wanted, yeah. like the other day, she was going with her auntie to Chicago. She did her own laundry herself. I was like, really? So you can be fast like this. She, she, to do this. She, I, because she wanted to travel she did she, she washed yeah. it she dried it and everything so you know just teach them how to you don't even need to teach them they know how to use it trust me yeah. they know how to use yeah. all these things just you know let them use just, it and just yeah. give them the, the basics really just give them the yeah. basics because if, yes. if you don't teach them life will take them the wrong way the wrong true life will take them the wrong way if we don't teach mm -hmm. them imagine your child doesn't know how to use all these things doesn't know how to use the hand safe doesn't know how to operate any and they get i i almost bought some uh, equipment one day because i don't use it before <laughs> and i i've I heard it once it, the sound it was giving me was not really right so i just yeah. got my phone google how to operate and i'm like oh thank oh, god i now god know bless you it. so i was going to say that as well it that google is your friend you know what there's no excuse no matter I'm what you want, Google and YouTube, trust me, uh -huh. I can say it and I'm not ashamed. There are some food that I can't cook and I go on YouTube mm -hmm. and I look it up and I'm like, oh, yeah. let me make this. Mm -hmm. You have no, yeah. it's only if you don't want to do it. There's yeah. nothing that you want to do that is not on YouTube. Somebody has thought about That's it. True. Somebody has put it on there. Somebody has, you know, just go on Google or YouTube. You will find it there. Yeah. It's there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everything is Some on there. Um, I I think trying other means with their hands is not bad because that was how we grew up with. It's part of the training. They can use a new technology, but teaching them the traditional uh -uh. ways. Not. In fact, some, no, kids will be, to... some kids will be happy to learn the traditional things. But you know what? Really... Trust me, we need yeah. to move on. I'm sorry, I don't yeah. agree with that. We need yeah. to move on. Why are we still in 1928? Come on! <laughs> 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 like Nigeria, really please, let, let, let's come down to this i prefer to ah. eat and pounded yam pounded yam from from yeah. the pound the yeah, real mortar and pestle than using a um, pound yam which is yeah. still well, trust me, to me. Oh, this is the best talking about. you know even in nigeria people are using washing machine in nigeria they have yeah, definitely a lot of people oh. a lot of people are using everything we've got here yeah. so at the end of the day yeah i'm not saying it's not good to learn but yeah. okay, so we're gonna have these gadgets at home and teach them how to wash clothes with their hands. So what what is the machine there for? Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I understand. Just... In, in, in like I, I was talking to an, a lady that I worked with. She's quite old. She should be about eighty something. And she told mm. me something. She said they used to, you know, in the UK, there's no way even if you are washing your hand um, clothes with your hands in the winter, there's no way you can really go about it and she said this is what they do they put a large pot on the fire mm. she was talking about before the war and they fold their clothes they yeah. put it in the pot, put water whatever solvent they are using to wash it and let mm -hmm. it boil and they just bring wow. it out this way and hang it on the line and that was how yeah. they were able to wash. And I think that was what brought about the dishwasher, really, because in the UK, you cannot really be washing with your hand because it's cold. So you've got to wash with hot water or warm water. Do you understand what yeah. I'm saying? Yes. 
So it really brought about a lot of things for them to discover, okay, we can do it better what way, we can do it better this way, we can do it better this way. And I think there's there's nothing wrong with kids knowing if they want to know. And if you feel like teaching them, if they're interested, but if they're not interested, mm -hmm. I don't think it's right forcing them to do yeah. these things because they're not really going to do it. They won't. They will not need it. So why will you force them? There are other plenty of things to teach kids. To teach, and yeah. They've got lots of things to learn. So why should we stick to if my my kids can wash with their hand? They wash this with their hand like every time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They are, they know how to wash with clothes with their hand, but to not be clean. So let's leave that area. <laughs> but, <laughs> I'm just saying it, it will come to a point where where a lot of things happen. And kids will just, there are machines that you can just put your clothes and it will iron it for you. So you don't have to learn how to use iron. And wow. that is where the world is going to. And we cannot run away with it. This is, a, like what I've is saying, um, there is nothing wrong teaching them the traditional way because they could find themselves in either of the settings. Let's say there are kids that go camping and Mm -hmm. There are things that they need to do. It's only the kids that are traditionally trained that will not go about so many things when they go camping. Right. Do you understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because yeah. sometimes they want to start a fire with stone, which I've never <laughs> tried to do. Do, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So I think if it, it's it's not bad for them to know, and we are not making but mistakes. Be, but you'll be amazed that even the You'll be amazed that even the camping that you're saying, if you go to stores, if you go to Walmart, there are so I, many I know, little I gadgets, technology, that you I can know, start fire. I'm telling you, these people are so I know. I, I understand what you're saying, really. Oh my God. I they, they want to do everything saying. to make life easy for them. Yeah. yeah so they yeah. invent, there is invention every day. Yeah. And I believe that our kids and, too can think outside you know, the box and be inventors. Yeah, you know the advice they do about um, kids, some kids maybe in Eastern Africa, they show and tell you for you to contribute and help them, give them some money. Mm -hmm. Those adverts, and some someday one of my son was asking, why are they drinking dirty water? Oh. And I'm like, that is their clean water. That's yes. their clean water. But because they don't know, they will think this is our life. It's so I, I think letting them know what happened in other people's life that are not where they are is very good. And making them to understand that um, they are not really better than anyone. Is yes. Just, no, like, like I was telling them, you did not sign in heaven that you were coming to this family. You could have been somewhere mm -hmm. worse. Yes. Do you understand? So letting them know the reality of life. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's very, yeah. very important. And not to make them feel bad because sometimes, again, we have to, I remember I always tell my daughter when she's wasting stuff, like, look, there are hungry children everywhere, blah, blah, blah. Uh -huh. But then I realized yeah. that there's a yeah. way that I can pass that message to mm -hmm. her than yeah. saying, oh, they are hungry and make her feel bad. Like, yes, I want her to feel bad because I don't want her to waste. But again, yeah. we have to, the way we communicate has to, we have to be intentional in yeah. our communication. Yeah. Yes, I want her to know that it's bad to waste, but do I really have to tell her all the time, oh, they're hungry children, they're hungry children. And I, come, I came to a realization that, oh, I need to find a better way to make her realize not to be wasteful. Yeah. Because I yeah. feel that every time I say that to her, she looks like, oh, I did something really bad. Yes, you did something really bad, but I don't want her to think that. But she doesn't really understand. Yes. So, you know, yeah, we need to let them know that there's, a, there's life outside of what they're seeing. Yeah, life yeah, outside what they're seeing, you know, there's so yeah, many kids yeah. that don't even. Don't don't even mm -hmm. She said, At the moment, I don't have a dishwasher. My five year old only knows mom washes with the dishes in with their hands. Even those of us that have, we don't use it. <laughs> <laughs> My dish so just okay. used to it. <laughs> we don't use it. I think I think we're just used to this our method, and uh, I'm telling you, it is bad. Was really bad. Uh, life has moved on, Jerry. <laughs> life, life has really moved on. I, I agree with you, and and I still agree that they need to really know what's happening on the other side of life. You know, it's very important. And um, let let me divert us a bit to um using technology as a Christian for kids. 
Um, I, I don't know if parents use this. There are a lot of apps that are for Christian kids. Um, there are a lot of um, things they can do online that Christian like. We've got the Bible. I was telling somebody, I said the Bible app. I don't know if, um, I can't remember the most popular Bible app everyone uses. Yeah. There mm -hmm. is a section in it where you can follow people's profile and see what they've highlighted. Yes. yes. And I personally, I scroll through it almost every day and I get some things from people I like. I'm like, wow, what version is this? How did you get that? This is really nice. And we can mm -hmm. also encourage them to have, it's not just about other things. It's, it's the main important thing that will sustain our kids and make them who they really should be is the word of God. So we should try and even if we buy them gadgets, make sure they have Bible up on it and make sure they check it every day. Mm. And I, I would like to say that we should not just force them to check the Bible app because, um, like I was explaining one day, we, we were forced to do something. There was a year my dad said we had to read from Genesis to Revelation. I read it. I enjoyed on all the stories except the book of Numbers. And I read it as a child, but it wasn't really there. So we don't want our kids to read the Bible as a book or as a story. We want them to get revelation. So when they read things, we should not just sit in our corner and assume they've read it. We should make sure we ask them, so what did you read today what in the Bible? Well, I read about John the Baptist. <laughs> so what do you think about John? Let them talk. Don't do the talking for them. Let them finish talk first. Then you can have your own to it. Because parents, we are used to, I'm going to stick this thing in your head. Mm. And I think it's better when they, they make their own decision to get things into their head. It will help them a lot. And it will really help their life. And I would like to say that we lead by example. Yes. Which is the most important thing. They don't do as we say. They do as we do. As we do. And we can always so make things fun for them for them for example yeah. on my phone i have this yoruba app because my daughter right. well, my daughter she it has gotten to a point that we can't even speak in front of her she i mean she understands yoruba to the fullest i don't even know how yeah. but she can't speak as much as of course Speaking. we do and all of that but she understands everything I mean, she, she's the yeah. one that translates for her friends when they come here. I'm so used to speaking Yoruba. I forget that they don't even, and I just speak so, and she'll be like, oh, my mom said this, my mom said that. And there's this yeah. um, Yoruba game on my phone. Oh my God, she loves it. She lo and again, there's another Bible, you know, game on it. So there's some, if we want them to learn, let me, let's make it fun and interactive yeah. for them. And yeah. by herself, she'll pick up my phone and start doing, ah, aja, be, you know, and be learning the Yoruba thing. It's a game that gives them points i can't even yeah. let me look at it so again we want them to learn all these things um let's see and she it's called yoruba 101 and she's okay. gotten to so many levels she just loves it she will some things that i don't know like in yoruba then. she'll be like mommy is this stick or something i'm like um yeah. I, I don't think they called it Iggy. i can't remember what they they called it one that i, I was like mm. <laughs> So, you know, just make it interesting. You want them to learn the Bible? There's so many Bible games. There's yeah. so many. I mean, technology is amazing if we use it right. Yeah. It's, there's so many things we can learn from it. And yeah. you'll be amazed that they themselves will be. I don't even tell her. She just picks it up and she goes there herself. Yeah, and she's yeah. learning so much. She's learning so much. I, so, I, think, I think that we should just be intentional about it, like you've said. And um, we should just make sure whatever they are doing is productive. Yes. And we should just be mother hen. I don't know if anybody will understand that. Be everywhere. Upgrade yourself as a parent. I like, I like what Faso Homi Shegun said. He said we mm. need to build these children up. They should mm. be independent so that, they, so that they use tech and tech doesn't use them. I love that. That's, that's very important. I love that. That, thing, that thank is you so people. true. Thank you that for that. So that is very, so true. That is so important. It is yes. very important. Yes. Because the way it's going, my, my two-year-old can access Google, um, YouTube from anywhere and he knows what he's looking for. Yeah. And they, they, know, pass, like, they know everything. I'm telling he you. He knows what he's looking for. I'm like, what are you looking for? He'll keep scrolling, <laughs> scrolling, and he'll press what he wants. I'm like, how did you know that? He oh, knows what know. he wants. They know. If he's looking for a song, he loves um, this lady's song, Ada Ada Eyi from Nigeria. 
She'll just, so, he'll just look at the phone and just scroll and he'll just say, Ada, 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 and he'll yes. look for it. I'm he like, will find it. Will say, Ada. Yeah. And, and he will, he will find just it. look for it. So I think it is very important we move, move at their pace and don't slow them down because that is one thing we will want to do. Like you look at them like they've known too much. Don't too ever much. slow them down because the world is going digital. So oh, yeah. if it, it, gone are those days when you say your kids should go for sorry doctors, doctor, <laughs> lawyer, engineer. I know. <laughs> engineer. They are, they are they are beautiful upcoming digital professions yes. that we launch them into the world. Better yes. professions, less stress, more money, more money, more knowledge. Too. Yes. So yes. I, I think we should not slow them down because they really need to discover themselves in their new world. This is not our world anymore. We 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 we. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. They need mm -hmm. to go with the pace. I, I was looking at kids that design different apps. And I was mm -hmm. looking at a very young boy. He, he's just six. And I'm like, how did he even know how to design an app? And the father said, they just look for an online class and put him on. And yeah. he developed it. It wasn't just him. It was him and his brother. But his brother didn't have interest in it. So his brother, mm -hmm. his brother is far older than him. They wanted his brother to do it, but it was a six-year-old that designed the app hmm. and developed the app. And I'm like, how did he even get there? Do, do you understand? We, we've got coding classes for kids now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This man that I was talking about, sorry to cut you short, that was um, yeah, in the like session it. I was sharing yesterday, was talking about, he said his son now, I, I can't remember the age of the son, he's already teaching the son how to do Forex, like foreign exchange. He's like, because it will come to a time... <laughs> Nobody's spending cash anymore. Mm -hmm. And it's true. Um, I mean, we need to we need we need to educate ourselves and be yeah, ahead of these yeah. children because it looks like mm -hmm. nowadays they are trying to be way ahead of us. It's like you need uh -huh. to use technology for your own advantage. Like I told you, he said mm -hmm. he makes his children do two PowerPoints a week. This is not even their school homework. He they do it. He said, even his five-year-old, he said they do it and they present to him. He said, That's same TV you watch Netflix on. You're gonna to present to me on that same TV, <laughs> and they present. And he said, he said to, to to us that his kids will not, he will not let them do PowerPoint without a video at the end. They have to. I mean, it's just amazing what we can do uh -huh. with this thing. It's amazing. Uh -huh. so we should, God like, help like, us. Um, like Pastor Mitch Shevon just said, mm -hmm. we should make sure that we take them to be independent to use technology, yeah. so that technology will not use them. Not use we are going them. to take that home today, which is very oh, important. Yes. We are yes. going to take that. We have to let's let's know that parents. We have to upgrade ourselves. Hmm. We have to like upgrade as much as possible. We've got to upgrade. We cannot stay on Nokia thirty three ten. I'm not. Some of us have got some lovely phones, some Android, some yeah. iPhone. But the only thing you use is WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, Facebook, and the Instagram. phone call. And so many things you can do. <laughs> there are lots of things on that phone. So let's explore, make mistakes, call your friends to teach you more, and mm -hmm. let's, let's improve because we are raising generation of digital people. It's going mm -hmm. that way. It's going that way. And there's and nothing look at how, can do. Look, look at how this has helped us during this time of you know, COVID-19. Yeah. Even yeah. churches that never thought they can have online services. Yeah. It's yeah. just, yeah. I'm telling you, I was saying to somebody yeah. that, when my daughter is going to be 10 in November, but when I was pregnant with her, I was on bed rest for about five months or whatever. Thank God for online. And my, my church has been doing online since that time. I was like, thank uh -huh. God for online because I wasn't able to go to church or do anything. Yeah. And I'm like, I could have gone crazy, but I was always you could have gone into church depression. service. Yeah. I know I'm like, oh my God, it's amazing that on Sunday I can be in church, even though uh -huh. I'm not there physically. I was like, I was yeah. able to enjoy online service and all of that. It was just amazing. Yeah. And imagine if we didn't have anything. I told my husband I would have sneaked into church one day because I was missing church so much. But <laughs> again, I had the opportunity to be able to watch live. And it's just like amazing. What, now. Um, yeah. Instagram is going to log us out in 21 yes. seconds, 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for coming. I really enjoyed this session. Okay. Thank you, everybody. That 
giving us lovely comments. Thank you, thank you. I'll see you next Tuesday. I'll send out the topic for next Tuesday. It's going to be interesting. We're going to have a we'll dad on here. Looking forward. And it's going to be very interesting. <laughs>